Murfreesboro's motto is creating a better quality of life, which obviously has been achieved because Murfreesboro has consistently ranked in the top 100 places to live in the country. In fact, Murfreesboro is the fastest growing city in Tennessee and one of the fastest growing cities in the country. So what makes Murfreesboro so special? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you all the things that you need to know about living in Murfreesboro. Hey everyone, my name is Brenna. I'm a realtor with Simply Home in the Middle Tennessee area. If you wanna learn everything that you need to know about living in Tennessee, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because I post weekly videos. And as your moving to Tennessee specialist, feel free to contact me with any questions you may have about living in Tennessee. You can find all of my contact information in the description. Originally named Cannonsburg, the land lying on the west fork of the Stones River had not been settled until 1811. A Revolutionary War soldier donated the land tract and named the area after a friend he had, Colonel Hardy Murphy. Because of its location as the geographical center of Tennessee, in 1818, Murfreesboro held the title as state capital. However, a city 30 miles northwest, known as the Music City, stole that title away from the borough in 1826. Okay, so that was Murfreesboro back then. Let's talk about present day Murfreesboro. As one of the fastest growing cities in the US, Murfreesboro is growing at a rate of 3.58% annually, and its population size has nearly doubled since the most recent census. This year, Murfreesboro was ranked for the 19th fastest growing city in the US and tied for the first in the highest job growth. So let's talk a little bit more about downtown Murfreesboro, also known as the Murfreesboro Square. You'll find plenty of shops and restaurants to explore, and you can easily spend an afternoon moseying around historic downtown Murfreesboro. One of my favorite shops to visit is Quinn's Mercantile, which is located off of North Spring Street and is open seven days a week. This locally owned business proudly represents Murfreesboro through many of their products. And if you're looking for some of the best lunch in Murfreesboro, make sure you visit Alley on the Main. They have some of the best seafood, steak, and craft cocktails in Murfreesboro. They've been serving delicious meals to the people of Murfreesboro since 2014. Stop by and grab a beer to enjoy on the outdoor patio or bring a date to the wine tasting that is hosted on the first Monday of every month. Now that you've seen some of Murfreesboro's charming downtown area, let's talk a little bit more about why Murfreesboro is in a prime location. Located just 30 minutes away from both Franklin and Nashville, Murfreesboro is a great place for commuters. That means it's close to the buzzing excitement of Nashville without dealing with the dreaded Nashville traffic, cost of living, or high home prices. Many people who work in Nashville live in Murfreesboro and commute every weekday. Similarly, people also commute from Murfreesboro to Franklin a lot of the time. Go ahead and look at this chart that breaks down the average cost of living for things like groceries, housing, healthcare, and more, compared to the national and Tennessee average. As you can see, Murfreesboro is almost right on point with the national average cost of living and a little bit higher than the Tennessee average. When comparing Murfreesboro's cost of living to other Middle Tennessee cities like Nolansville or Franklin, Murfreesboro is much cheaper. Affordability is really one of the main factors that makes Murfreesboro so attractive to the people who are looking to move here. Another pro is all of the business growth and development that is happening here in Murfreesboro. I feel like I hear about a new business opening up here every single day. One of the most recent and highly anticipated store openings was our brand new Costco located off of New Salem Road. We all go a little crazy for Costco. Murfreesboro has seen the job market increase by 2.3% over the last year and is predicted to grow by 56% in the next 10 years, which is significantly higher than the national average. Additionally, Murfreesboro has a great community of local businesses who love to support each other. There's a strong community of business professionals who take part in networking events where they help support each other. If you would like for me to make an entire video about the networking events I suggest you join here in Murfreesboro, then let me know in the comment section down below. One thing you should know about Murfreesboro and other Tennessee cities is that the sales tax is a little bit higher than what you may be used to. In fact, all of Tennessee cities have around a 9 to 10% sales tax. 
I was talking to a friend the other day who had moved here from another state and she was talking about how much she had to pay in sales tax and how crazy she thought it was. It does take some time to get used to the high sales tax, but you also have to remember that we don't have a state income tax. Another thing that you need to know is that there are a ton of things to do here in Murfreesboro. You can find plenty of name brand stores for shopping and delicious restaurants along the avenue. One shopping center that I would like to highlight in particular is The Fountains, located off of Medical Center Parkway. One of my favorite coffee shops Just Love is a great place to grab a cup of coffee, meet some friends, or get some work done on the computer. The Fountains always have seasonal events going on, including summer movies under the stars, ice skating at the annual Winterfest celebration, and so much more. There is truly always something for you to do here in Murfreesboro, and one of my personal favorite activities is visiting one of Murfreesboro's beautiful parks. Barfield Park in particular is a very popular park. With 430 acres of beautiful land, the parks include many amenities, including an 18-hole disc golf course, two playgrounds, grass volleyball courts, and even a wilderness station. I would definitely recommend checking out the Wilderness Station for hands-on learning about our native species in Tennessee. You'll also want to try out some of the walking and hiking trails. You can even reserve a campsite to stay overnight in the park. As someone who runs on a regular basis, one of my favorite things about living in Murfreesboro is all of the paved walkways that we have here. We have over 15 miles of paved greenway that is perfect for biking, walking, or jogging. Another thing that you need to know if you move to Murfreesboro is that most people here are big Blue Raider fans. Middle Tennessee State University lies in the heart of Murfreesboro and plays a big role in the culture and diversity of our city. With an enrollment of about 22,000 students, it is the number one producer of graduates in the greater Nashville economy and has been named on the Princeton's reviews list of the best 385 colleges in the U.S. three years in a row. It's also a top destination for transfer students in Tennessee. MTSU offers over 300 undergraduate and graduate degrees degrees, with many of their programs earning national recognition for excellence. Additionally, they have one of the lowest tuition rates in Tennessee. I personally attended MTSU when I first moved here, and I can tell you firsthand that it's a wonderful school to attend. I found that the science programs exceeded my expectations in every way possible. Also, the Blue Raider football games are pretty fun, so make sure you attend one at some point. As a local realtor in this area, one of the things I do best is find an ideal house in an ideal location for my clients. And when someone tells me they wanna to move to Murfreesboro, I get so excited because there are so many choices to choose from here in Murfreesboro. Whether you're looking for a new construction home, luxury, or affordable housing, I can find the right place for you and your family here in Murfreesboro. We have plenty of established neighborhoods with quiet streets, perfect for your morning walk or jog. Or if you want a little more hustle and bustle, there are plenty of historic homes right by Murfreesboro's main street. Since Murfreesboro is a growing city, its real estate market has become very competitive. In October of 2021, the median home price in Murfreesboro was $344,000, which is an average of $164 per square foot. In November, this rose up to $350,000. Home prices have risen by 17% in Murfreesboro and are projected to continue to rise. Navigating this competitive market in Murfreesboro can be quite a tricky process, so you'll need a skilled realtor who represents your best interests. If you're moving to Murfreesboro or anywhere else in Tennessee, then give me a call because I'd love to help you find your dream home in your dream community. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Murfreesboro. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about Murfreesboro, then watch my Murfreesboro playlist.